All right, this is Judson Powell, the fastest 15 minutes in social media and on the internet. I talk about politics, religion, other stuff like that, spirituality more so than religion, though. Uh, anyway, what I want to talk about right now uh, is Nicole Murphy. And, you know, I and, and the thing about it is I never like like do these instantaneous like responses to certain things because, you know, I'm a thinker. So I like to think and I like to, you know, like kick it around with a few people, especially my wife. And so if I kick it around with my wife a little bit, I know that when I come on and I say something that usually uh, it's on point. Anyway, subscribe, subscribe to my uh, channel, like the uh, the video, please. And I, I would appreciate that. Um, Nicole, the thing about this whole Nicole Murphy thing and, and some of the stuff that's been coming out lately and, and just the fact of the of matter is, is that, you know, Layla Rashawn, you know, she, it, it, first of all, everybody talking about the way she looks and all this kind of stuff, which is which is way, I mean, which is way in left field because first of all, the woman has lupus, okay, the, and she takes medicine which causes weight gain, and it's it's impossible, it's inevitable. Not to mention that um, you know that that things happen to people over life, and when you are married. Uh, supposedly, you know, not that I have the best uh, track record in marriage, but when you're married, you're supposedly uh, supposed to love this person, you know, till death do you part or whatever. And, you know, and inf infidelity is basically, you know, it's, it's not one of those things that should be included in any marriage. But with that being said, obviously, I talk about things that are spiritual and things, uh, that's things that are related to spirituality. And, the fact that that so many marriages uh, end in divorce or uh, or have infidelity involved in them, uh, we're not really focused on uh, the spirituality aspects of this. And one of the aspects of spirituality, uh, especially with inside of marriage, is the fact uh, of of the matter of the commitment and also being able to know that that commitment, you know, is a is a joining together, or you know, or as the the scriptures put it. Uh, the whole thing about one flesh. So if you give your flesh away, uh, basically you're giving your spouse's flesh away. And the other thing is spiritually, um, and especially has to do with women, uh, every every man that you sleep with, every man that you sleep with uh, leaves a DNA blueprint inside of your body forever, forever, ever. So uh, we know that through through the science of alchemy. So the alchemist will tell you, you know, straight up, like every time you sleep with a man, that's why we you know, that's why there are classes of women. There are wives, there are concubines, and then there are harlots. And women get mad when you say that. But the problem is, is that spiritually it's true. And so then you have, so now you have a woman like Nicole Murphy uh, who comes around. Okay. At first, at one point she was a wife. Okay. Then she, you know, she did away with her whole marriage or whatever, or what, you know, whatever the circumstances surrounding her and, uh, and Eddie Murphy were, you know, and they broke up. Okay. And they got divorced. So now what is she, she's out there and she's a, now she has become what she has become a harlot. She's going around. And the reason why she's breaking up other marriages, you know, um, I, I can't think of the, um, uh, what's the girl, um, you know, that played at Players Club? I can't even remember her name. But uh, but anyway, you know, back in the day, she interfered in her marriage. So, you know, Lisa Ray, that's it. So, um, you know what I'm saying? So she interfered in her marriage back in the day. So what? why is she doing this stuff? And the reason is, is because she wants to remain non-committed. And she thinks that, oh, so if she goes and she gets somebody else's husband and there are a lot of women out there like that are like that, then she doesn't have to commit. She doesn't have to, you know, she doesn't have to go through anything. She doesn't have to give up anything. She doesn't have to relinquish any of her lifestyle and she could do whatever she want because this guy, what, he's got a wife at home. So he's got to go what? He's got to go back home. So everybody, everybody has to understand. And this is a, a, a thing that happens throughout, you know, throughout life. You have certain women who like men that are committed. In fact, there are certain women that go that go places looking for men with wedding rings on. 
And the reason why they do that is because they know that they don't have to commit to that man and pos and more more likely than not, that man is not going to commit to her. You know, it's going to be, you know, she's going to get what she wants out of the relationship and then they go their separate ways. And then, you know, when you have a person like Nicole Murphy who has money, who has, you know, influence, who can, you know, who can come and go pretty much as she pleases, then she's going to, you know, she she likes that. You know, that's that's the perfect scenario for her. That is, a, I mean, that is the, the utmost perfect scenario for her to get into. So now, and once again, like I said, and then um, from a, so from a spiritual aspect, you know, she's, she's basically out here just wreck, you know, she's the devil, <laughs> you know, for, 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 for all intents and purposes, she is the devil. Why? Because of the fact that, you know, that, 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 that nothing good, nothing good can come out of what she's doing. And then you take a person who, you know, who, you know, who is a friend or, you know, or, or runs in the same circles and, and that kind of thing, you know, even, even, I mean, that's even worse because now, you know, if, if you're going to have a, a tryst or whatever, then why would you do it in a, in a circle of people, especially people that are famous so that everybody knows? So, it, you know, in my estimation, that whole thing, you know, that whole thing, uh, it, it shows bad character. And that's one of the things that, that we constantly are, you know, are trying to tell you, you know, because I'm a comedic priest. I'm not a, you know, I'm not into all this other stuff. And, and I look and I see all the pastors and the, and all these people out here and they, you know, they're saying certain things, but then their actions don't line up with it or they condone or whatever. And the other thing is everything is not, everything is not forgivable. I mean, well, everything is forgivable, but everything should not be handled in the same manner. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that we're, especially as Africans, uh, you know, in America, I mean, we're a lot of times we're too forgiving of things to happen, you know, and this thing right here, this is to me is it, something that, you know, especially for Layla Roshan, you know, it's like, it, it, you know, you you know that this man is somebody's husband, you know, and, and now we have all this vernacular and this is a thing that's coming over our race. And why is it coming over our race? Because now we got, you know, we got all of these different distinctions of people. You know, you're either married or you're not. You know, now we got side chicks and side men, uh, uh, work husbands and work wives. And we got all of these different, you know, different little distinctions of people that are supposed to be in your life. And no, they're not supposed to be in your life. And, and the one thing that I, in fact, the one thing that I love about uh, my wife, my wife is like, look, you know, I don't have no male friends. I got you. You're my best friend. You know, she tells me that all the time. It's like, you know, people, oh, well, I got, you know, I and I have female, I have female, you know, associates but i don't have female friends and i'm saying like oh where well, you know when we sit up there you know people got friends where they sit up there and talk on the phone you know incessantly with somebody else or the other of the other sex but that's what that's the things that i reserve for your husbands and wives so look, look and here let me from a from a priest standpoint from a spiritual standpoint let me explain to you familiarity does not always breed contempt Familiarity does not always breed contempt. Sometimes it brings what? It breeds, you know, lust, um, in, infatuation, uh, other things that, that come over and eventually turn into what? It turn into sexual energy. Remember, you are energy. And that's why we keep on, you know, we keep on preaching other stuff. And, and they don't tell you this in church. That's how come more than half the people in the church, the, 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 the divorce rate in the church is 60%. So they're not teaching you the right things. And here's what they need to be teaching you. Marriage has to be based on not not on, you know, this crazy stuff that we get off TV. Oh, I fell in love. You don't fall in love, you know. And marriage has to be based on what? It has to be based on something on a mu on mutual agreement 
Not only that, but and you need to talk about what your needs, wants, desires, and everything are with. And I've been su such a failure at it that, that that I studied it. So that's why I'm, I'm giving my advice. I'm saying take my advice with a grain of salt. But look, but this is the thing. What I've noticed is, is that people that talk things out beforehand and don't just jump in sexually, you know, because a lot of times we just jump in things sexually, but people who jump in things sexually don't always work it out because if after the, because, you know, after sex is over, because, you know, I don't care how great a man says he is, but y'all, you know, like, like the, like the late Bernie Mac said, we ain't going all night. <laughs> So if you're not going all night, okay, even if you go all night, you can't go all night, you know, 30 days out of the month. All right. So you understand what I'm saying? So love has to be deeper and more integrated than just sex. It's not about sex. It's about this. It's about your mind and your spirit and your souls connecting in some aspect other than just sex. Because in order to in order to make things like that work, and then the next thing is is that it has to be some kingdom building. And when I say kingdom building, I'm talking about being able to create either businesses or uh, strong families or both. You know, so businesses, strong families, or both. If that's not what's going on within your marriage, and all you're doing is trying to see, you know, uh, you know, the next, you know, the, when is the next big fight or whatever, then there's nothing going on. There has to be some building taking place so that not only does the does the relationship grow, but that it can it can grow grow to the next level. And see, so when you got women out here like Nicole Murphy, you know, just running around here, and 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 also, you know, where is the honor? There's no honor, you know. It's like, and, and even even, I mean, where's the honor among men and women? You know, in the old days, there used to be an unwritten code, you know, or you know, you would even if you did, you know, the one thing that you wouldn't do is that you wouldn't put it out in public. And, you know, you would do it so that so that it was respectful. You know, there were tons of there were tons of men that had two families, three families, whatever, you know, it, uh, back in the old days. That That's you know, that was that was a common thing. But never the two shall meet. It was, you know, it wasn't like it's now everything is all over the media. Oh, you know, uh, you know, this person, that person. Oh, he got two Y. He got this, that, and the other thing. And polygamy is 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 also, you know, whether you like it or not, it's still happening. Why is it still happening? Why? Because people do not stay committed. And even if it did happen, it should be mutually consented upon. All of this stuff about running behind people's backs and all that kind of stuff is is not is not what the what the Most High really intended it really intended for it to be, and and so and especially if you look back and you study you know the the spiritual history of our people you know that's not something that was done. Yeah, there was polygamy, but it was done in the context of building kingdoms. You know, building building strong families. You know, procreation, so that you would have large families, and, and that you would be able to support uh, building that kingdom or building that business. But just running around here sleeping with somebody's husband or sleeping with somebody's wife just to be doing it, nah, not so much. All right, but now you know we we just like just like incessantly out here trying to get whatever we can get, and then we look at it as a badge of honor. Uh, you know, if we can do it, but that's not, you know, that's not cool. Not to mention, we don't think about the people we, we were hurting. So my, my heart goes out to Layla Roshan, you know, because of the fact that, you know, she, you know, that she don't deserve that kind of hurt and pain and to throw this all up in the media. There are people talking about, you know, what she looks like and all that kind of stuff, body shaming her and, and everything else. Forget that y'all need to grow up grow up and mature and, and, and learn, you know, learn about life and, 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 and take people's feelings and their, and their love into account. You know, that's, that's a good one. And, 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 and not to mention, she played one of the best, some of the best parts ever in movies, you know? So, you know, Layla Roshan, you know, love you. I'm team Layla all the way forever and ever, you know, and, and, and I hope that, you know, I hope that she, uh, that she recovers from all of this and that the pain is not too deep and that God will comfort her and, and, um, 
and, and give her solace in these moments. All right. All right. Anyway, that's how I feel about it. That's the fastest 15 minutes on the internet. My name is Judson Powell. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Judson Powell, uh, you know, look at my other videos, hit the like and subscribe button. I love all of you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, and, and, uh, I got some other stuff on the way. Anyway, love you. Bye-bye.